It's June 26th and 27th. It's Sunday and Monday. The sun is in Cancer and the moon is right behind in Gemini. So let's just start by saying, this is what I would call emotional wisdom. A baby born with this would have a high degree of sensitivity, every Cancer does, with the impulse to communicate about it. If there's one thing in this world that would be magic is if we learned how to process our emotional body. So in other words, you had a childhood that was traumatic. Raise your hand. Oh, look, everyone's raising their hand. You had a heartbreak somewhere in your life. Oh, raise your hand. Yes. You had some kind of story with your health that's really annoying. This is the cancer story, that there's a lot of emotional content that the human has to recycle and regenerate and transmute and constantly process. Well, the moon in Gemini says, I'll help you. The sun in Cancer gets the imprint. The moon in Gemini goes and asks for counsel, goes and becomes a therapist, wants to heal their childhood wound. Now, the moon is conjunct Mercury and Venus in Gemini. That's three planets in Gemini. This is a great combination. I know someone who has this actual um, combination. He's a filmmaker, and he speaks about things that no one else wants to talk about guardianship and how there's this incredible reality out there where old people are taken into old folks homes and then they're absorbed into someone steals them and it's this crazy story around guardianship that needed to get communicated he made a documentary about it billy thank you billy mince for all the work that you do he's a cancer gemini and with those three planets in gemini that being the moon mercury and venus trining uranus we could have a filmmaker being born today we know that this is the gift of communicating and speaking to the unspeakable and being emotionally wise. I think it's the single ingredient that's prevented our world from evolving is our emotional cancer without the Gemini skill set of being able to say, I was wrong, I have a few questions, I've done some research, then we just get caught in the cancer emotions and, and be prepared because there's a new moon coming, double cancer, on the 28th, just down the road. So Sunday and Monday, it's a time to use our words to talk, to write, to journal, to come take my class, tell me a story, T-M-A-S dot C-O, where you process out loud your childhood wound, update it, turn on your observer, and liberate ourselves from those wounds. Because everyone, to come here, you know this, in order to come to be to earth, you have to hand a suitcase to yourself filled with trauma, drama, and storylines, and then unpack them and lighten your load and glean some wisdom. That's the whole process here. I wrote a book called The Missing Element, which is specifically about turning on the observer, figuring out what element is missing so you can let your emotional body become conscious. Three planets in Gemini, I had to tell you a long story. All right, so the art of this conversation during Sunday, Monday is talking. There's three planets in Gemini. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you that. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the four elements and figure out which elements and signs you're most compatible with, click the link in the description to sign up and you'll get instant access to my Elemental Compatibility PDF.